the God that holds you over the pit of hell, much as one holds a spider or some loathsome insect over the fire, abhors you and is dreadfully provoked. His wrath towards you burns like fire. He looks upon you as worthy of nothing else but to be cast into the fire. You know, 30 years ago when I was first starting out to preach, I, uh, I was fascinated by Jonathan Edwards and his famous sermon, Sinners in the Hands of an Angry God, and I, I made my own little copy of it. This is a sermon that captured the American religious imagination and has dominated much of our thought for 250 years. And so I, as a young preacher, I memorized parts of this. I added it to my arsenal, evangelism by terrorism. You know, if I paint a picture of a horrible, monstrous, violent, vindictive, retributive God and then offer Jesus as the way out of that, kind of a good cop, bad cop routine, then I thought maybe this could get results, and maybe it does depending on what you mean by results, but the question remains, is it true? And so what I'm doing in my book, Sinners in the Hands of a Loving God, is I'm dealing with the scriptures and trying to address these issues. What about the wrath of God? What about the fear of God? What about Old Testament violence? Does God command genocidal violence? What about the cross? Is that God using violence for his own redemptive end? What about hell? What about the book of Revelation? Is Jesus going to come back and kill 200 million people? So I'm not avoiding those issues. Rather, I'm allowing the scripture to do what the scripture does best, and that is point us to Jesus. God has always been like Jesus. There's never been a time when God wasn't like Jesus. We haven't always known this, but now we do. That's the scandalous truth of the very good news.